Hi there, I'm Amelia and I uh, create content for Zita. So for this whole year, every week I've been doing a healthy habit and I write about it on the Sagita blog. Um, we've done everything from drinking over two litres of water a day to making sure you floss your teeth. Um, this week we are doing an at-home blood test. So I have this Thriver kit, um, it's called a baseline kit, and it tests your vitamin D levels, your cholesterol, your liver function and your iron levels and I think uh, recently they um, they added B12 testing as well which is really cool. I've already done two of these health tests. Um, the first time I discovered that my cholesterol was too high and um, that my vitamin D was too low. They recommend that you supplement vitamin D between October and March in the UK just because of how little sunlight we get. In order for strong bones, uh, you basically need vitamin D and calcium. The calcium isn't useful if you don't have enough vitamin D, so it's, it's important. Anyway, if you want to know what's in this test, we shall open it up. And here you have instructions. In here you've got all the bits to do the test. You basically have to go and wash your hands, warm them up, um, set up a little base, which I will do, and I'll film the process so you can see what happens. You can see my blood. It tells you to remove the cap, which I actually forgot to do the first time I did this, so I bled everywhere before I was able to fill up the, uh, to fill up the container. The worst thing about it is like the anticipation of pricking your finger like you're pushing down you're like when's it gonna happen when's it gonna happen and then it happens you're like oh sh basically the worst part is the anticipation and then the second worst part is seeing your blood if you're squeamish like me once you have filled this up you then pop it in here fill out this little form and post it so the reason that being able to do one of these at home blood tests is really cool is because it's like putting health back in your own hands. You don't have to rely on a doctor to be able to know what's going on inside your body. The great thing about working with Sagita is it's made me realise that it's important and easy to integrate small things into your daily life which can improve your health. Obviously not everything is preventable, but at the same time if you can take steps towards doing it, that's something at least. Yeah, this should be really cool. Like, I'm looking forward to you seeing me freak out. Anyway, see you in a second. Alright, so my hands are clean and warm for the most part. i got to prepare my plaster. Oh, I don't want to do it! So this is my lancet. I just, I just need someone here to prick it and then I'll be fine. Oh my god, even just holding it against there, I'm getting like, <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> Which is ridiculous, it's not that bad. That's better. Quite a lot of blood came out then, but I don't know how much is going to come out now. I don't think that worked, there's like no blood in there. There's blood everywhere else, there's blood on here. Maybe I can scoop some of that in. There's, all, there's tons of blood on here. I'm gonna have to do another finger again, and I don't want to. I did it! And it only took freaking three fingers, Jesus! Here's my little tube of blood. 
Um, I just need to attach the sticker to it, pop it in this thing, and then walk it down to the post box on my way to my class. That was harder than I remember it being. Um, it honestly isn't that bad, but for some reason my body just didn't want to let go of my blood. Maybe it just needed the right hand. So I'm going to take this to the post box. I'll pop it in this giant yellow bag. Might be worth them rethinking the design of this, like half the size, maybe. So I needed to prick three fingers. I only had one of these. So I had to use this to like clean my fingers. And then because I've had to use three lancets, I've only got two plasters. I've got like one finger that's just like hanging out there with its little prick. That sounds a bit wrong. So yeah, next time you see me, I'll have the results. And yeah, see you in a second. So I've got my results through and it's less than 24 hours since I sent off the blood test, which is amazing. So it starts with um, saying your test results and it says, I am pleased to say that your lipid and liver profile as well as your ferritin levels are excellent. Your vitamins are low, so please focus on my specific advice in the comment about your B12 result and in the focus section of this report, then monitor in three months. So a, a GP has actually looked at these results and commented on what I should be doing. It says my bad cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol, is in a healthy range. Um, my triglycerides are in a healthy range, my HDL cholesterol is in a really good range and my cholesterol ratio um, is in a really good range. The overall cholesterol is on a borderline of like being a little bit high but that's being pushed up by my HDL cholesterol which is protective um, so it's not a concern apparently. Yay! My liver function is fine, it's been fine the last few times, all my, uh, all my results are in the healthy range. Um, my vitamin D is still a little bit low, um, but, but it's higher than the last two results. So, I think this liquid vitamin D stuff I've been taking is actually really helpful. The secret is living somewhere where there's an actual sun. So my vitamin B12 result was a bit low, but that I think I kind of expected because um, because of stopping eating meat. But that's fine. I can supplement it. He's recommended an amount to supplement, so that's good. Yeah, so I'm really happy that the results came so quickly. I'm happy to see what I can do to improve stuff. Um, I just need to do a bit of research into supplements and. Uh, what the best ones are and what the actual measurements mean and how much you should be taking when you should be taking them because I know there's a whole lot of stuff that goes in behind that. Yeah, I'd recommend anyone do this. It offers you a really interesting insight into what's going on in your body and it gives you um, steps to take action to solve problems before they actually become a problem. Overall, a big thumbs up from me. Thanks so much for watching and I guess um, Maybe see you sometime. Bye.